good morning everyone so we're here in Porto in Portugal it's currently like 7 in the morning it's been raining and thundering all night uh, we're going to Nazare today it's gonna be popping big waves there today so I'm very excited to see that for the first time so it's gonna be up to like 30 40 feet hopefully we get to see some big wave surfing <laughs> Uh, I wanted to go there for a long time and I'm like super excited to go actually to see how it actually looks like because I think it's one thing to to uh, like see it on the video but then it's a completely different thing when you when you're actually there and you see shit so you know uh, so I'm excited so now we're just heading over to the tram station and we're gonna catch a bus quarter past eight down to Nasare. So yeah, I think I'll just uh, cut the camera here and then I'll continue recording when I get down there. So see you there. Yes, and here we are in Nasare for the first time ever. And to be fair though, it's like to me, just the waves here at the beach looks fucking nuts. And what we see all the way over here at this point is where the big waves are. So we have to figure out a way to get over there, but I just see cliffs all this way. But these waves just down here is sick. Like, look at this fucker. Look at that. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> on our way up to the light up crazy how we can see just the beach break from up here you can see that it's huge and these are small ones compared to what we're about to see so it doesn't really seem to stop going uphill though it's far like a proper hike but I could probably use a little bit of that anyway but the view from up here is quite nice it seems like a reasonable place to build let's say 200 meter cliff straight down into into that Look at that. Nice houses. Extremely nice view. Also have to appreciate the sun decided to come through. It was uh, forecasted heavy rain. So I consider this quite lucky. Look at this square here. Fucking gorgeous. This is all on top of a hill too. It's crazy. Crazy nice. Just like, I love this exploring shit. You know, just coming here, you know. Never been here before, but it's so cool to be here and just walk around. And it's quite, quite hard to believe that we're like high up on a cliff village at the moment that we are, which is something I find really cool about Nasare at first glance. Like, I didn't know this when I got there. I thought the whole city was down, like... I thought the whole thing was flipped, to be honest. I thought, like, the big waves were at the other side of the beach we've been seeing earlier. And the lighthouse and the waves would be over there. But no, from the same side of the city, you can just walk straight down into it from on the top of this cliff where the city is. Which is quite cool. Like, in this, this view, though. I can't get over this. Look, and up here is the city. Huh? Have you seen? That's that's something else. That's different. That's cool. <laughs> that is damn cool. There is a bit of a city down there too, but I think the cool part of the city is up here. Obviously, I don't know how that happened. How they figured out there was a smart idea to build 50/50 of the city up here and then the rest down there. 
but you know, it is what it is. Well, this is definitely like a wife from burritos. And here you can see like surf league. It's supposed to be some sort of event going on here, I guess. I'm not sorry. There it is. The old famous Monster Lighthouse Happy. I did say the sun poking out, but all of this is coming my way. These are the waves. The fish looks sick, by the way. I mean, look at that sea! You don't come here to surf the first time in your life. That's for sure. Look at this one. These are just... There it is. Even though I'm sure my dad is laughing about me now, like, yeah, the sun is coming out, we're lucky with the weather. Of course you're not. It's never that way. You see the forecast, like, nine out of ten times when you come into the this, that's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get shitty weather. But, that's, but, you know, it's cool to be here, nonetheless. I think it kind of brings out a whole vibe of us, don't you think? To see it in this sort of, like, harsh, it's not only sunny and butterflies all, all, all the time, you know? It's like if you fall down there, you die, obviously. Just get in the water, you fuck. Yeah. Couple of big anybody that wants to go here because to come here and see these these massive waves at work it's actually quite crazy i've never seen waves this big in my life uh, you know so if you thought you saw big waves in your life you should come here and reconsider because you haven't and that's just a fact because these are crazy these are absolutely nuts and this is apparently like a small day i talked to some uh, Locals I found up here, and was like, yeah, how big is this for Nasara? Yeah, and, uh, and they were, uh, they were like, yeah, no, this is like, yeah, mm. they did this, like, you know, this one, like, yeah, not too big, <laughs> oh, what do you mean? What do you mean it's not too big? It's like 30 to 40 feet, I've seen some 40 feeters for sure. So we're gonna go and see if we can take some cool photographs as well, which will, I will pop them up on the screen as I take them. So that would be cool as well. So you guys can see, maybe I can grab a few shots. I only have a 75 millimeter with me though. So I don't know if it's actually zoomy enough. I should have thought about buying like a zoom lens before coming here because you can get some absolute killer shots around these parts. That's 100% sure. So yeah, let's see if we can do that. We're like 40 meters over the sea and still there's a warning sign so it's like yeah the waves can hit you up here This one here behind me and especially this one down there because that's where the waves are so i think we seen what we came here to see so it's time to time to head home and then uh, yeah plan the next adventure probably won't be hopefully it will be as cool as uh, nasare uh, there's probably a lot of cool places in portugal we need to explore so yeah i'm excited for the next one yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And then, yeah, don't forget to fucking uh, explore a little bit, you know? Take advantage of the world we have around us and especially how easy it is to get from A to B. And it's important to say too that you don't need a 
significant amount of time to travel and see shit. Just for example, me, I live in Europe, you can get on a plane to anywhere. It's not that expensive either, in most cases. We have Ryanair, damn. So we can easily fly and see shit like this. You know, you can see shit like that. <laughs> you know, I still can't get over these waves. But yeah, with that said, we'll uh, finish this episode here. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.